This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. All right, let's go to Birmingham. Let's see, Effingham, Illinois, and go to Missy. What's going on, Missy? Hey, guys. I'm so happy to talk to you. You as well. How can we help? Okay, so I want educated today. I want to know about my whole life insurance. I know that Dave doesn't like it, so I want to just cash it out and put that money onto our debt and get out of debt a few months faster. But Dave also says, don't do things that you don't understand. So I want to understand these policies. And I just don't understand the you know, what, what I would get or what my, my husband would get if I passed away. I know Dave says like some of it, the insurance company is just going to keep. That's and right. So With most policies. Yes. The way it's set up. So. so first off, I mean, I would say, I love that you're digging into this. I love that you're getting the sense that whole life isn't the way to go. However, I wouldn't just up and cancel it, cash out, get your cash mm-hmm. value and run. We want to make sure mm-hmm. that you're covered. Um, that you have the right life insurance in place. And we kind of like to bridge that gap and get one in place before you cancel the other one. So okay. um, if you're thinking about term life, that's what we would suggest. It's a whole heck of a lot cheaper and you get, you know, the coverage for the term that you choose 15 or 20 years. Mm-hmm. And um, that frees up a lot of money that you could do your own investing with um, as opposed so to a whole a life situation. my question though, because my, I have two policies, two whole life policies, uh-huh. and I, I only pay $207 a year on one, $39 a year on the other one. So they're not breaking me by but any But what are these means. policies worth? Um, one of them, the benefit amount is 20000 The other benefit is 5400 oh And see, goodness. that's That's, that's why difference. you're not paying much. You ain't got no insurance. Okay. <laughs> we, want, yeah. we, want your ter- we want your insurance coverage. The whole purpose of it, let's go back. The whole purpose of it is to cover your income for the people who depend on it. So if you were to pass Mm -hmm. away, you have a level of income, you know, your your spouse is dependent on that and vice versa. And so we would usually say 10 to 12 times uh, your what you earn in a year is what you're looking for. That's the coverage Uh amount. Maybe if you're a stay at home mom, George, what is it, three to four times or four to five times? We generally say at least, you know, a five hundred thousand dollar policy. Uh, assuming that a stay-at-home, you know, spouse, it would cost at least fifty grand just to cover some of the duties. That's right, like childcare and some yeah. of the other things involved. So that's why this and is I so guess cheap. That's where me and my husband, I, we haven't talked fully about how much life insurance I should have on me. Like he has a ton, so if something happens to him, I'm set, all is well. And I guess, like I could, I guess we kind of feel like I don't need as much as he has on himself. If I were to pass away, well, like he again, would that rule okay of thumb, the rule of thumb to tell him is 10 to 12 times your income and 10 to 12 mm-hmm. times his income. That's what we're looking at. And then at least half work. a million if it's a stay at home spouse. Mm hmm. So that's the rule of thumb. And what we're here's here's the crux of this entire argument. And you said it before, you know, in these whole life uh, packages, part of part of the money that you're paying is going to your premium. And part of it is investing into your cash value. Right. And when you die, if something if something happens and you pass away, you don't get to keep the cash value. That's what we always say. And so the insurance company, that's the part that they keep. Okay, so we always say, well, that's not fair. If you've invested been investing into this for all this time, shouldn't you get to keep it? And you don't. So that's thing one. And thing two is if you really think about it, a lot of those um, whole life situations, the rate of return is really, really bad, like two to four percent bad. Like it's really bad. Right. So the idea right. is, hey, you could get a term life uh, plan and, and at a pay fraction it, of the cost. At a fraction of the cost, and with all that extra money, you could invest into good growth stock mutual funds and get a rate of return that's eight to ten percent. And and mm-hmm. it's invested in what you wanted in. You've got a lot more um, choice in the matter, and so that's yeah. that's why we say that. Plus. Then there's the idea that, you know, if you work the baby steps and you keep on going, at some point you're going to be self-insured and you're not even going to need yeah. a policy yeah, like this. unless You, like you don't one. need insurance for your whole for sure. life. You need it until right. you're self-insured. And that's the problem is you pay this thing forever and it's so expensive. Here's the deal. If I yeah. told you, hey, buy my auto insurance, but I'm going to make you pay an extra few hundred bucks and you can invest through your auto insurance. You would you'd be like, you're an idiot. 
I'm not buying that. <laughs> and yet we do it with yeah. life insurance every day. And so that's yeah. one more reason to go, This don't mix your insurance with your investing. Let your insurance so, do what it's supposed like, to do. So let's say just hypothetically, you know, I drop dead tomorrow. What like is the benefit amount or the death benefit? Is my husband actually going to get that or? They would write him a check the for the benefit. benefit. Okay. You said it's 20000 and one was 5400 yeah. so he'd get, yeah. you know, 25400 Okay. But he may not get the cash value. Most policies are right. set up to where you don't get the cash value if you die. You only get the benefit amount, the face value of the policy. Yeah. And let's just pretend. Let's pretend you did get the death benefit. Let's pretend you did get the, the cash value. How much cash is in this thing? <laughs> oh, it's not much of anything. One right. of them, one cash value is 1700 The other cash value is $972. Woo! whoop de doo I'll buy some flowers for the funeral, I guess, with that kind of money. I'm like, I you mean, could take that money, like I said, and invest at a far better, I mean, this, like I said, many of them are like 2 to 4%. So You could do better yeah. in a high-yield savings account is my point. Here's the spark notes. Get term life in place. Make sure the policy is effective and running. Then cancel the whole life. There's going to be surrender whatever fees, and you're going to eat crow on it. But you know what? You're going to set yourself <laughs> right. up for uh, – wealth building the future the right way. And I'm going to send you a copy of my book, Breaking Free from Broke. I want you to read the oh, Investing awesome. Traps chapter with your husband because I cover okay. permanent life in detail, explaining with the numbers and covering the different types. And I think it will give you some peace that you guys are doing the right thing. Okay, great. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Mm, Absolutely. You're welcome. Yeah, hang on the line and Austin will make sure you get a copy of Breaking Free from Broke. What a great call. We get that all the time. I think there's a lot of confusion around that because people, for some reason, like to use their insurance as investing well, tools. Well, and it's peddled so hard because people make so much money by selling it. There's a reason yeah. Gerber's got life insurance for the babies on there, and you think you're being a good parent. Your baby doesn't have income. There's nothing to replace <laughs> your people. That's a very, very good and, point. Although my baby hopefully will with some modeling gigs. <laughs> your baby is very cute. Baby Mia is... Too precious. Yeah, she's cover, front cover worthy. Definitely. Thanks for tuning in to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. To learn more about investing, visit RamseySolutions.com slash investing or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash smartvester.